So I did a quick Google search on African makeup and these are the results that I got. There we have tribal, traditional, wedding and beautiful. So I just went on to the images. Take a good look at that girl because this is the makeup that we are going to recreate in this video. Yes, this is an African makeup tutorial and according to Google. <laughs> so yeah, that's the video that we are doing today. So an African makeup look it is. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Hi guys, don't think I forgot to say hi. So today we're going to do the African makeup look and uh, as you can see I'm already wrapped in the African way and I'm wearing my best African shirt, yes, and my best African earrings. So I've already done my eyebrows as you're seeing me pointing on my face that I've done my eyebrows and I'm just going to take my mirror so that we don't waste any time in recreating this look. So we're going on to start off with an eyeshadow primer because we are putting a bright yellow eyeshadow as you saw in that picture she had a bright yellow eyeshadow so this is just a white eyeshadow primer not the best but i like it so um i'm going to apply it over my face over my eyelids correction not on my face guys you don't apply eyeshadow primer on your face you apply it on your eyelids so i'm, I'm just applying it on my eyelids and then i'm going to use a brush to blend it all out Next, I'm just taking this Maybelline Burgundy palette and I'm taking that shiny eyeshadow, this combination of that one at the bottom and the one on top, and I'm going to use it to highlight under my brows. Next, I'm just taking this Miss Rose palette and I'm taking that yellow one, but scratch that. I'm not going to take that yellow one first. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'm taking that black one. Yes, the black one. And I'm going to use it to apply in the inner corners of my eye and also in the crease of my eye. As you can see, the crease of my eye is where I'm applying right now and in the outer corners of my eye so that like to create like that smoky effect that she had. And then I'm just going to go in with this brown, this brown eyeshadow and I'm going to use that brown eyeshadow to blend out the black one so that the black one doesn't create harsh lines, like so that it can transition well into my skin. Next, I'm just taking this silly Girl uh, Pro Concealer and I'm going to use it to uh, create a cut crease. So basically, I'm going to use it to demarcate the area that I'm going to apply the yellow color.
Next, I'm going to apply that yellow eyeshadow in the area that I've demarcated. So I'm just applying, applying, applying as much yellow as I can until it's visible and it's nice. And then I'm just going to take this Maybelline um, eyeliner and I'm going to use it to apply uh, eyeliner basically, yeah. I'm applying eyeliner using this Maybelline Hyper Precision Eyeliner in the shade black. And I'm also going to use this Maybelline uh, Mascara, Total Temptation Mascara, and I'm going to use it to apply yeah, on my eyelashes to make them look nice and straight. I'm not going to use uh, fake eyelashes for this makeup tutorial, though you can definitely use fake eyelashes also, uh, because uh, I had an allergic reaction with a fake uh, eyelash liner, so I don't want uh, anything on my eyelashes right now, so I'm just using mascara to make them look long. Now it's time for foundation and I'm just using the Revlon Candid Photo Candid Foundation. For those of you who follow me, you see that these items are just familiar. I always use the same products. Yeah, and uh, this is the Revlon Anti-Pollution Foundation in the shade 530, which is Pecan. I usually have a tan because I spend a lot of time in the sun. I basically work in the sun, so just understand that. And uh, this Revlon Photo Candid Foundation, I absolutely love it because as they, they say, it filters blue light. And for those of us who are always on computers and mobile phones, we know that blue light is a really bad thing. So this um, filters blue light, in case you're wondering. And then I'm going to use the same, same Revlon Photo Candid Foundation in a different shade, which is 410, which is now toast. And I'm going to use it as concealer. Now this is a lighter shade than my skin tone. So that's the one I'm going to use as concealer to just like brighten my under eyes and conceal any eye bags. Definitely you have to blend it in and that's just what I'm doing using a brush. I'm just blending in the concealer and later on I'm going to use a beauty blender to make it uh, like a fine finish. I'm just going to take this Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to use it uh, to brighten my under eyes. I'm not going to use it to set that foundation. <laughs> no, I'm just going to use it to brighten my under eyes because it really brightens. And for the setting powder, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Fit setting powder in the shade 5 Caramel, 5 something. Sorry, I've forgotten about that, but it's in the shade Caramel. That's the one that I'm going to use to apply all over my face. And I'm just going to use this uh, bronzer shade to create a nose that is thin. <laughs> or basically to contour my nose. <laughs> You know our African noses, despite this is an African makeup tutorial, we still have to make our noses look slim.
Next, we're just going to take this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. And I'm going to apply it on my lips as highlighter to highlight my lips. Day in, day out, For lipstick, I'm not going to use this one, although I did use it um, a bit, but it was a bit lighter than the shade that I wanted because she had like a darker lipstick. Uh, and this is just Possessed Plum by Maybelline. So I'm just going to take another one by Sleek. Mm, yeah, Sleek, a purple one called um, Madly Maroon. I think I've had it forever. I don't even know whether it's expired or not, this Madly Maroon. But I have had it for a really, really long time. I think I need to get rid of it, this purple shade. So that's the one I'm going to apply instead of that Maybelline one because the Maybelline one was a bit too light. Now it's time to put the real African touches to this makeup and I'm just going to take a pencil. You can use whatever you have that you know you can apply on your face. So I'm just using this eye pencil. It's like a pencil, those really old eye pencils that we used to have in the early 2000s. That's the kind of pencil I'm using and I'm just creating a black dot. As you can see she has a black dot between her eyebrows. Almost like an Indian look. Yeah but so next we're just going to apply uh, to use the eyeshadow primer because that's the only white thing that I have. I don't have a white eyeliner. So I'm just going to apply um, the dots the way you saw them, just the way she looked. So I'm just gonna apply all the dots all the way until it, it appears the way she, she looked. the African makeup is coming through yeah so we are just going to continue finishing until we, we make sure that we look exactly the way that photo looks wish me luck guys though I can see it's coming together nicely honestly I can bet anyone that I look like her sister or her her twin huh leave me a comment <laughs> below let me know what you think <laughs> 